What's going on everybody? This is Kurt and welcome to a new staggering video. I've just started my journey here, so for the newcomers, Primal VFX is the place where we we'll learn about visual effects, CG and much more. And today we will see how to make a neon flickering FX inside Maya with the mighty Arnold Render. No keyframe will be armed during this episode. Seriously, no keyframe will be used. Grab your attention, right? So get relaxed, grab a coffee, a cup of tea and let's roll the intro. Here we are guys inside Maya. So let's create our basic neon. I'm creating a cylinder, rotate and scale it. Ok, then I create a floor, just to see some reflections. Ok, then let's apply a quick shader on it. Everything black, with some rough specs. Ok, now we want to convert the cylinder into an Arnold mesh light. To do so, go to Arnold tab, menu on top. Then lights, mesh lights, boom, done. So if we look to the attribute editor, we've got a lot of different attributes. Show original mesh if you want to show it. Then I always check on light visible to make it visible and switch off normalize. Increase the sample of the light a bit and of course the exposure. Ok, so as you can see it's working. And by changing the exposure, you can change the brightness of the neon lights. Really easy. So if we want to make the light flickering, of course we can animate the exposure with some keyframes. But no, I will teach you a much more efficient and clear way to do this. With expressions. Don't panic, it's really easier than what you think. So on the exposure attributes and right click, as you can see we've got the possibility to create a new expression. Click on it. Select the string here and copy it. Then paste it into the expression field. Then we will use a random function. So the exposure of the light will be equal to rend for random, open and close brackets. Inside we will put two numbers. That will be our range for exposure. So 0, 10. Click on create and close the window. Boom, done. Let's check now if everything is working. Really nice. Now we will see a more complex example. Hey you, I know you are watching my video and I know you are not subscribed yet. It's literally so easy, just go down there and boom, press subscribe. So like this video, comment and hit the subscribe button. Here we go, we've got a more complex scene with a rooftop and three neon lights. This scene is part of my last artwork, Cyber Slums, so check it out on ArtStation. The link is in the description. Again, let's convert the mesh into an Arnold mesh light. Select the other two meshes and press G to repeat the last command. Now we have to configure the lights once again. But instead of typing the value one by one, we will use a mail script that I've created. It will automatically apply the settings to an array of objects. The first line is for setting up the show original mesh to off. The second line is for setting up the exposure to zero. The third line is for setting up light visible to on. The fourth is for switching off the normalize check. And the last line is for increasing the light sample to 4. Ok, so select the three neons and hit Ctrl and Enter. Boom! Now we can create the expression once again on the neons. The first one. Now the second one. And the last one. Let's check now if everything is working. Yeah! Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, you know what to do. Subscribe to my channel for more awesomeness. And I see you guys in the next video.